Oh, but we're going to begin with a story developing right now. A woman training for a marathon attacked on the track at Chippewa Valley High School. Police in Clinton Township sending out an alert late this afternoon as they hunt for the suspect. Uh, we've got a pretty good look here at security camera video. They are looking for the driver of this two-tone gray Ford Escape. Rod Maloney has new information from police on this attack that occurred in broad daylight. Rod? It's a young woman in her 30s who lives in the area here, had been jogging down Romeo Plank Road, came down here to Chippewa Valley High School to the track, went in behind the fence, started running on the track. And that's when the attack happened. Labor Day, the last day of summer before school starts, the soccer players not here, just an empty track open to the public. Like most serious joggers deep into the process and not paying much attention to what was happening around her, she ran in the cooler hours before 9 a.m. And that's when the man pounced, running up to her, knocking her down onto the track and tried to sexually assault her there. A pitch struggle ensued. After several minutes, the unarmed man, unable to subdue the woman, jumped up and ran away. He is described by the victim as a tall black man, six foot three inches, thin build between 20 and 30 years old, and wore a short, unkept Afro hairstyle. He fled in a Ford Escape in the high school parking lot. It's identified as a 2001 to 2006 vintage silver over black Escape. Now, the trim is rubber and runs all along the entire bottom half of the vehicle. The police are saying if you recognize this vehicle, they want to hear from you. Now, the victim did not get a look at the license plate, though uh, clearly she did try. And so what the police are saying tonight is that uh, they have been looking around at the security video cameras in the neighborhood, and that's how they were able to get that picture that you just saw. So again, if you did see that vehicle or you saw anything happening around yesterday, uh, around 8.30 yesterday morning over by the high school at Chippewa Valley, the police, Clinton Township Police Department, wants to hear from you. Back to you. Well, what's the thought on where the attacker might have headed after the assault, Rod? Well, when he jumped in that SUV, he took off westbound on uh, on Romeo Plank Road, and uh, that's where the police say that uh, that he was last seen. That's where the last uh, video was able to catch up with him. All right. Hopefully, this will generate a little bit of help for the public. All right, Rod.